So we we doing a Q and A video. It's gonna be also like a reaction video too, cause like I didn't really see any questions. I had people check through these questions to take out any like hateful things, anything that's not an actual question, stuff like that, stupid comments, things like that. But and that it should be all questions. So we got we got Meech right here, camera guy too. Uh, he's gonna be uh, asking the questions. We got Phoenix over here. She's she's one of them commentating, and then we we got. We got either June or Michael here. We got, you know what I'm saying? We got him. He's going to be also commentating. That's what I'm saying. You all know who I am, chair taker. So we're going to get this started, I guess. Got anything to announce before you get into these? Uh, oh, yes, I do, actually. Black questions? No, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> so we got a song coming soon. It's a dance song. It's uh, featuring uh, Dylan Tool and Grenzi. So that, that song is going to be pretty nice. I'm hoping to make that a hit. Um, yeah, it's going to be on all platforms. It's going to be, the video is going to be on uh, Vimeo and Vivo. So that's going to be pretty nice. Um, hopefully we can even get it on Worldstar. You ready for these questions, man? <laughs> no, I, I think I am. Oh, no. I'm not. Alright, alright. Here we go. Here we go. First question. How do you feel your style differs from other musicians? Style? There's, that's so broad. Like, style when it comes to, like... Music. Music or my... Style. Yeah, my style. I mean... Well, we'll say both, I guess. Style, I guess. My style and, like, how what I wear, stuff like that. I, I do interesting stuff, like, gold and silver together. Nobody really does that too much. I do some interesting really? stuff wearing, like, what? Nobody does that. Well, do you some people do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill. All right, barely anybody does that. All right. And then when it comes to style, I mean, like, I'm always wearing, like, some sort of usually pants, especially in the summer, which is odd. But I do that. Um Pants t-shirt sizes too big yeah yeah i wear my pants like three four sizes too big yeah but i mean they're small at the ankles you know big and big at the waist i mean you gotta do that. Good thing there's a cloth on the table right yeah so i think the question was referring to oh your style as a rapping God. Rap. like every, all right, all right. That, i'm sorry you guys every, that's every rapper has I'm a doing style both. you know like you look at uh drake and how he raps well, <laughs> he doesn't rap, he sings. I sing, you know I mean? I, like, but I also sing and rap, so I, mean, I do both, that's all I mean. Um, and for your style, you probably guys could probably tell me my style more than I can, because I mean, like, I just do my own thing, I don't really pay don't attention to stuff. You don't pay, attention. pay attention. attention. What do you think my style is? I don't know. I, I, you're you, honestly. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're, 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 I'm not saying it's, it's bad, but you're in your own category at this point. Yeah, right? for real. But it's a good thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. People like diversity and uh, like the rap thing. You know, yeah, of course, of course. You know I mean? Yeah, so that's that's I guess my style. I mean, my style. I mean, I do a little bit of everything. So I mean, I, don't, I, I have my own style. I'm I'm Jared Taker style. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, can I can I get that towel real quick? Like, no, 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 it's my towel. What you mean? <laughs> the, the table guy. No, don't worry about the table. Table are good. Ready for the next question, man? Yes, I am. Alrighty. Pick that one. The one that you have in your hand. All right. this. Maybe. I don't remember if she wrote a question or not. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, yeah. Does it make it harder or easier to be a musician when being young? Uh, in many ways, there's two harder. different things. I think harder, actually, because, like, no, a lot of people don't have a hard time respecting you when you're younger. Like, they don't, they don't, they can't respect you as much as they would respect an adult, but it, it's whatever. I don't really care, because, like, literally, I'd be flexing on people all day. That's, that's all I'm saying, so I don't really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to keep this ball rolling. Uh, that's our lucky one, I guess, right? Yeah. That's our next one. That's the next one. About how long does it take to tape one of your videos? Uh, depending on, well, videos in the coming soon probably going to take a little bit longer because I'm going to have multiple locations. But if it's just like one location or the, all the locations are similar, it would take one day usually to, to record it, to actually like edit it and everything. That could take like a week or so after and all that. Well, but um, that too. Um, and I'll, yeah, depending on what the video is, how complicated the video is, how much props are in the video, how much different scenes there are. But usually, like, if it's just a one like place type thing, or the places are right near each other, it's gonna take like one day to film. Mm -hmm. and, Unless, yeah. And if you're collabing with somebody. That yeah, too. Yeah, collabing and like say all the people aren't together all at once, then yeah, it's gonna take a lot longer, which is gonna probably be coming up soon. So I mean, yeah. All right. Good answer. Good answer. You know, like Family Feud. Supposed to be doing that one. 
Oh, so are we doing it? Yeah. They fall out. All right. I, I'm I mean, it's only it's only kind of fair, you know. If it falls out, so. it's like telling it's you like, to do yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's like, like this one wants to be red. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> and ready looks a little extreme there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who wrote this, but props, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> Props to not being able to answer questions. I just sounded like Optimus Prime. <laughs> Is it time the majority of your school disrespects you? I don't know. Oh, I don't think it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's not fun, but it looks like time to me. I don't know. Is it true? Oh, true. I'm, I'm an idiot. The majority of your school disrespects you. Yeah, I don't know. Do do? Sadly, that is true, actually. Yes, the majority of my school does disrespect me for what I do. But you know what? A bunch of hoes. Exactly. Who cares about them? Th listen, they're all fake. They're all, they just they just don't can't accept reality. A lot of them, but I have the rest of the world who does respect what I do. So I mean, hey, you got me. Who cares about them? You know what I'm saying? Who cares? Oh, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, stay true to yourself, and then stay true to yourself and who you roll with. Who cares about everyone else? A one to the day one. You got this. I just thought about something. I <laughs> bet. What is that? I just said your school on camera i am so sorry no that's all good spill. no that's totally good it's all good pretty sure i'm not saying everything about the school no 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 actually might but i'm actually i'm not saying the the whole school i'm saying the people who disrespect me at the school there's a there's quite a few people who don't but the people who do that's what we're saying yo guys she just bit her nail off and i don't remember her doing it okay okay that's 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 good good to know that's on camera by the way we're gonna keep that in here no. Oh yeah, no edits. <laughs> like any side conversations that it seems to be like really funny, you gotta get it to where like zooms in on what I say and then like push it back out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really this shit's gonna be fun. Hey, what the fuck? I just stretched my leg. I just popped off. Okay. I think she got like some male disease. <laughs> All right, we're moving on, right? Yeah. What advice would you give someone who is just getting started? Don't give up. Yeah, that's one of them. Uh, another thing I would like to say if, when you're first getting started is um, having a decent amount of money starting in the music industry is very good only because it costs a lot of money. Another thing is... Um, uh, can, I, can I throw something in there? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I feel like when you're first starting out, it's always going to be the hardest part of like oh, yeah. making music. Like You're going to doubt your skills, you're going to doubt your words, you're going to yes. doubt... The things you're rapping about, the things you're speaking about, but the number one thing you can always know to do is just stay true with what you say. Like, don't try to gimmick anybody you hear. Like, don't try to yes. be like the next young boy or the next tripper or whoever the hell you Agreed. listen to. Listen, try, try to sound like yourself because as many times as people tell me I sound like somebody else, I don't. At all. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like, so just just sound like you and stay true to who you are. It should be easy. Yes. Cause. It doesn't matter how many people follow you, your fan base. It doesn't matter about none of that shit. If you know for a fact you're dope and you're legit, you're going to get some type of clout down the road eventually, and people are going to start to bandwagon with you, which brings you people to help and people to motivate, and then it just opens a lot more doors. So Definitely. Be 100%. Another, another thing I want to say is did, when you're starting off, too, there's going to be a ton of hate, and as you keep going... It's gonna get less and less, which is doubters. Good. Yeah, exactly. People are gonna doubt you. People are gonna say that you're not gonna make it. They're gonna say a ton of stuff about you. But as long as you pull through, you pull through. All right. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. There's Next. some people who just aren't built for the rap game. Yeah. If you know for a fact you suck at rapping, just go study the dictionary, cause <laughs> I will never listen to you in my life. I'm gonna tell you that now. All right. No, I do not approve of the consumption of marijuana. He's lying. Alright. Wait, why, why'd you snap? Because that's the recording, and I can sync up the video faster. So, it didn't catch me saying I don't approve of it. It got that. Oh, okay. I don't approve of it. But if you do it, more props to you. Alright, right, next one. Oh, that was my job. Sorry. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna... Just that's why I snapped and pointed at you. <laughs> Take two, duh. Alright. Why are you so fucking Someone <laughs> so tried to write you a letter. <laughs> we got a letter. It's not Blue Coos, Blue Coos though, you know what I mean? Oh my god, I missed that show. Who do you go to when you need assistance with your business, music, or work? Music, wait, I got this. Me. 
Sometimes. What? Um, <laughs> sometimes. I'm going to lyrics. Just okay, music. lyrics. Sometimes. Me. Again, sometimes. Uh, I go to multiple different people for lyrics. Um, I'll go for multiple different people when I need help with business. There's, it's just, there's, I have so, I know a lot of people. And when you're in the music industry, you end up knowing a lot of people. But I also. Right, so how about we knock it down to like your top three for all of them? Like, yeah. Top three for all of them. All right, for lyrics, I'll go for to you. I'll go to my friend Nate. I'll go to someone like. Actually, I'm gonna have to do top four for this one. Spider. Speedy to Icon and Speedy. Spider. And those are those are like the, the top four for lyrics. For business wise, I'll go to um, actually you know the um, owner of Struggle, Mike, Michael or whatever. Yeah. He's, he's a really good business person. I go um, I'll go to somebody else for business like uh, Speedy's pretty good with uh, business stuff. Uh, and then I also have two other friends who's pretty good at business Yo, stuff. That I don't know. I don't know if I want that. Shout out uh, Struggle716 on Instagram, you know what I mean? Plug, 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 you know what I mean? We gotta do it. I mean, come on, Speedy, I think he deserves that one. Oh, yeah, of course. Shout out, shout out Speedy, the icon, uh, Instagram, you know what I mean? Plug, 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 plug. All my, all of you'll see pretty much just like by who I'm working with and everything all the time, like music, uh, business. Like I said already, I, there's two other people I can't really name because I don't know if they want me telling them because they're not exactly like popular like in like that they just they're doing their own thing you know what i'm saying so i can't really say them but um yeah i have, I have some i have people for each thing like business music video everything like i have yeah <clears throat> all right next question real life so what inspires you to write songs what inspires me past events uh relationships life, life friends Moments, Nobody. places, what? <laughs> Nobody's. <laughs> Nobody's. <laughs> Everything. Who's that one rapper you don't like? I'm sorry, I don't mean to like. What you I can't. Describe. I can't throw throw out somebody I don't really like. Yes, you can. Oh, no, I cannot what do that. I'm... Fucking hoodie. What do you mean? Oh, I'm definitely Ooh, not saying that. Gotta... And you posted <laughs> it online. Drama. Definitely can't say that. Yes, you can. What's he gonna do? He's got a big fan base. Yep, yeah, not doing that. <laughs> We will steal all of them day by day. Day by day, but not yet. Why right. not? This is we'll the go, start of Yeah, it. we'll go to the next question. <laughs> no, <laughs> not a little bit. no. Yes, yes. Listen, I'm not done. <laughs> next question. <laughs> grab my hand like that, sir. The blue one. No, I'm not done yet. This is a serious topic. I want you to read it. Oh, listen. This, come she on. Can this pick is, she can this pick is a question. serious She can't read them. Okay. I can read them. You have to know. When it's good to have some type of musical beef? Yeah, not right now. Not, not actual, except. not like actual like beef where you're actually fighting with people. Like, yeah, I know take that. Take it out in the studio. No, for real, stop. This is a serious topic that comes with no, the music. No, this is not industry. a serious topic. Yes, it stay is. off of this topic. It comes with music. No, no I, I'm not trying to beef with no one. Just beat them with your chain. No, okay. All right, next question. How did you come up with the words to your song, Dead Love? How did I come up with that? Well, based off of actually three relationships that I was in, um, I took a bit of three. I took a bit of three relationships, and I came up with that because, like, there was a situation where it said family comes between us and everything. It's because in the one situation, her family came between us. So, like, that was where I came up with that. Then there, there was a lot of situations where I would be in a relationship, and then I got cheated on and stuff. Um, and like, there's just just so many situations where like relationships don't work out too well for me but i mean music artists they struggle and when it comes to relationships but no. it is what it is yes they do actually no. yeah um, i'm all... a music person and my relationship is going very really fine thank you <laughs> that's that's just pure luck um, i'm just saying because 99 no, percent no. of relationships when it comes to musicians we'll get out to that listen, later but that's listen. girls they are greedy sir they see you making music Cloud they want greedy. exactly um so cheating, we're going to narrow this down because the, when you go on tours and stuff that you're cheating and stuff when you're really not See what I'm saying? It's tough with for musicians. It really is. Sometimes. It, it almost always is. That's like I take a girl with you. <laughs> That's why I don't don't get into music when you're young. Like, because no, <laughs> yeah. no, don't. We don't talk about that. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't talk about that thing. Yeah, we, we can't bring up. <laughs> you say it louder for the people in the back. You say it louder for the people in the back. That's definitely not. I just had to like tell no you balls. This is what I thought about. Uh, listen, listen, next no, question. Bro, listen. This this goes out to a lot of people. Like, do not chase music when you're young. If like physically and emotionally you're not ready for it, because it will start a lot of drama, and you're gonna want to quit because of the the pain you're facing because of the shit that's going on in your life. Just remember that. How often do you get in, interacted with in public, like people walking up to you? 
Can I start this? Hold up. Me and this, me and this <laughs> nigglet right here, we're walking through South, was it South Buffalo? Yeah. South Buffalo. And there was this random guy who kept following us saying his name and my name. My mouth is really numb right now. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so this guy keeps following us. And out of nowhere, he was like, yo, you're a chair taker. And I'm like, who the f*** is that? And I realized it was this guy. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't know him by that. I know him by his actual name. We're not going to say that. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, And then he knew me for some strange reason. So then he was trying to figure out what the hell we were doing walking around with no protection. So we're well known. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I get it pretty, uh, like, quite yeah, a bit. Like, almost everywhere I go, I at least know at least three, four people. I do you want a lot of money if you don't like a lot of stat stuff staff stuff stuff <laughs> okay yeah that's oh, actually a good question like, why do you want a lot of money if you don't like a lot of stuff so this that's obviously somebody who knows me pretty well because i i uh, prefer not to have too much belongings so i tend to get rid of a lot of stuff like what have items and things that i have i just i tend to get a lot of stuff and get rid of a lot of stuff i feel like you is. also like use your money wisely you buy a lot of expensive stuff and that you cherish that more yeah and then the stuff that I, that I just randomly buy i tend to get rid of more so i don't like clutter i like things clean i um don't like material things too much i'm into some things material but i don't really like too much material stuff i really don't yeah chain chains is different but other than that i don't really like material stuff like i'll buy something and it'll be gone in a week or two or a month or a year oh, what stop from it. your necklaces your pendants. How many necklaces are you wearing right now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. How many do you have in total? 12, roughly, 14, maybe. Roughly. 12, 14, maybe. Okay. Now, you have a PlayStation right there. And another PlayStation. And a big TV. And you don't like materialistic objects. No, because a lot of that stuff will be gone soon. So, I mean... <laughs> I just say, it'll be gone somewhere. I mean, I'll either sell it, something. I don't like material stuff. You come around and sell that PlayStation, let me know. No, I'm just saying, I don't like the material stuff, that's why. But money, you gotta have big sacks. <laughs> so, you telling me if I came to you, like, right now, with, like, 300 bucks, I could buy the PlayStation off you? Not 300 bucks, I want You're not gonna get more than that? No, I could. No, you can't. I could. You can buy it right now for 250 out of Walmart. I know, but I, I would go for 10,000 because it's just a Jer Taker PS4. You're drunk. Your fan base is not that high yet. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm just saying that's how much I'm going for. So if somebody wants to buy it, go ahead. No, no guess what? Take All right. Your equation. All right. Next. <laughs> All right. Next question. This question says, "I am I'm a inspiring musician like yourself, and I was wondering if you could give me a few tips." Um, stay positive. Stay yeah. Stay positive. Keep going. Don't let no one tell you that. You're never gonna make it because you might. Um, another thing Wait, you might hold say. On. Listen, to whoever asked that question, comment down below one of your songs, all right? And I'll have Jared tell me what's what's the song called and everything like that. And I'll personally listen to it and tell him what I think. And I'll tell you what I think too. All right. And we'll we'll react. Hopefully, to, we'll react to one of your songs. That's what we'll do. I'm I'm calling him out on this. We'll react to one of your songs and let he, you know he, what we think. That's on him, because he's got to no, keep, no. keep that. I, I'm not guaranteeing with, anything. Yes, you are. He is. <laughs> it's not, it may not be soon because he's a busy man, but we will react and tell you exactly what we think you should work on, exactly how your delivery is, your flow is, everything. Just just give us a little bit of time. Oh, excuse me. Just give us a little bit of time. Wow, these guys are real helpful, huh? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Come on, it's an up-and-coming fan of yours. Who yeah. asked you for advice? I I, I understand. Right, so I try. A short question this time. Hopefully, Jesus. Oh, no. How do you learn all that you know? Um, through the m many people I know, actually. Also through some great teachers that I had, um, and a lot of it is actually myself because I I do a lot of self learning things because I, I I literally just every day I have to learn new things. Every single day I have to try new things, experience new things. And meet new people. So, I mean, that's basically how I learn everything that I know. You got any teachers you want to shout out in this video? I do, actually. I, I really liked uh, my teacher. Well, so far, I had her last year, and I'm having her this year, Miss Tam. She's a very awesome teacher. She's Shout a Tam, you know what I mean? health careers teacher and basic nursing teacher. I had also a really nice teacher um, back for social studies quite a few years ago, uh, Mr. Schmidt. Mr. Schmidt's a really nice teacher. Shout out, Mr. Schmidt. Uh, then... Um, I, I had a lot of great teachers. Not, not that any of you guys weren't great teachers, but all, there's a lot of great teachers I really had. Like, 
There there was really some great teachers. All right, next question. Looks like another paragraph one for you. Whew. Yeah, your mom's gonna be tired after this today. <laughs> if you could run a charity, what would it be for? If I can run a charity, it would probably be for um I would have either for kids, some sort of kids, maybe like cancer or something cuz either that or I would do it for some sort of like animal that's about to go in danger cuz I wouldn't I really don't want like some like animal to like be gone cuz there was a few animals just to, I remember during like my life which is not that long, I'm only 17. Um and there was like a three or four of them that went extinct. So I mean, like I, I just hate to see that. So I mean, I would definitely Wait, support one of those something. two things. I know this is gonna sound really cruel. Yeah. Um, if seagulls do start to be endangered, can you not save them? Not necessarily. Yes. I might, I might have to save them. <laughs> They're seagulls. Like, I like seagulls. <laughs> I don't know if I'm very wise about picking away. <laughs> People who like seagulls are not my forte. <laughs> What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? Yeah, they're nice. They're like. Garbage digging creatures. What do you mean? So am I. Yeah. No, you're so not. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, wow. No. Okay, if you're going to compare yourself, all right. So am I. There goes a uh, thousand of your subscribers right there. Just from that line. Right. <laughs> That's right. not a bad thing. You can make mad money to go get in garbages. You're, you just lost like 5,000 more likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a question. It's a little... Whew. I don't know. Should I answer it tonight? Ask this question? Well, it's going to touch bad? some hearts there. Is that bad? It's going to touch some hearts there. How do you go from a hated artist to a liked one? Well, um, yeah. Okay, so um, pretty much you, ju you just be f go from trash to not. <laughs> no. Oh, Jesus Christ. You hear me? No. I don't know how to answer listen, that listen, one. Listen, what? you got to think about it. Like, it's really one of those things where it's just like you just hit a certain point in your life to where you just went from, you know, I'm tired of people judging me and doubting me and looking at me yeah, and I just in don't a care. certain way. No, it's not about you. Don't no, care. I really don't care, though. You do care. <laughs> no, I don't care at all. If, if you didn't care, if you didn't care, your music career would have just been over with. No, because I don't care. That's no, why it keeps going. Point. No, 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 no. The point that you do care is why you try so hard. I don't care, though. That's not why I try. I try because I'm just being, being me. If they don't why like it, I'm so well. difficult. This is not what we're supposed to be doing right now. We're not supposed to be arguing about why well, you care. Truth, you don't I care. don't care, though. It's not the truth. I have a little don't care attitude. <laughs> and that don't care attitude is going to make you would not you, succeed. Would you, say, succeed. would you say that um, bettering your style in music uh, helped you become more like? A little bit, yeah, because a lot of people, they judge me based on just music, even though I don't just make music. So, I mean, yeah, definitely, that would definitely help. I, I think that's because of the one thing, one of the things you did succeed in. Like, I feel like you excelled in making music. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like, honestly, if you, like, focused on music, I do know what I'm going to say. I have to think about it because... <laughs> my levels in my body are like oh my higher than the next so i gotta think so i don't sound stupid i feel like if you just focused on music you'll say that louder for the people in the back no. she said i sound stupid every day <laughs> <laughs> let me focus anyway so i feel like if you focus on just music you'd be like oh well okay i'm excelling a lot in this then your business and everything else will go down that's why i feel like you went from not so like to light and you blew up and a certain matter of time because at one point you were trying to focus on too many different things and then you started focusing on one yeah. thing and then the next and then the next and then figured out a way to work all of it into one and it showed people like yo this dude's really working to get to where he wants to be which is why I, I said agree. that you cared because if you I didn't agree. care you literally yeah you wouldn't be anywhere at all like yeah, yeah you probably had music or you probably have business or you probably had your clothing line but without not caring where would you be yeah I agree yeah you know what I'm saying nice guys you should be reading your questions, man. Yeah. <laughs> no. Ask him all these questions. Well, that's, that's why he's a good commentator. Who? Who was that? This is a s simple question. What's your net worth? Uh, mm, if you I had to, if you had to that's a... get yourself in like a range, what, what would you By a like range, I'll do. I'm not gonna say exactly, but I would say probably like mm, 30, 40 thousand. Which is not that much, literally. Most people could say say that's a lot. That's not much. It's not. It's I'm really mean, not. I mean, maybe someone from my age, but that's not a lot. I'm just I mean, saying. Or I carry is like nine point something. Exactly. Billion. That's what I'm saying. So that's not much, but 
for my age, I could get and up and coming. I mean, for our age, that's really not a lot. Justin Bieber, when he was our age, just he was at like yeah. So that's why I'm saying that's that's not that much. Fifty mil. I think. If you can, ha if you can, uh, if you don't have too much stuff, you have to spend on. And then another thing is, um, if like say like I would say, um, if you don't, if you're real careful with your money and you don't just spend too much, you'll be okay. But then I gained some, so I'm. It's a win-win. Yeah, yeah. All right, next question. What do you think will change if your if your music life picks up? I mean, if it picks up anymore, it's just only gonna get better, probably. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can say. It's only gonna get better. I still don't think you're like you personally. You're not gonna change. I probably no, I mean, I'm probably not like my personality wise isn't probably gonna change. I hope not. I mean, because I mean, like, things like can you'll get, get to you. A little cocky, but like, well, a little cocky. <laughs> yeah, I'm already pretty cocky in a lot of ways. So, I mean, not really. No. <laughs> well, not too you bad. Could be but, worse. Yeah, it could be worse. I was worse, which it makes no sense. <laughs> so, yeah. So I mean, yeah, you're you're probably right because I, I I see other people who can, like get real cocky and I just don't yeah, like it. So I mean, it, yeah, it helps me to ch chill out a little bit. Yeah, you're like oh, wow, this guy's fucking cocky. I need to calm myself down. Yeah, exactly. What's this? Thank you. Why music? Why not just vlog? What? Well, I do both. So, so for people who don't like music, I got vlogs. For people who don't like vlogs, I got music. For people who like both, I got both. For people who don't like both, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> why wouldn't? I feel like a lot of upcoming stars now are like. Can't open it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like a lot of upcoming stars right now. I mean, look at. Is it okay if like I actually like mention some of the people who like make music but vlog? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Carly Steele. <laughs> Whoever she is. And Connor Bobe. Whoever that is, you got Milo Moore. That that's a nice dude, Milo. You know, he's like he makes music. So sexy. Can you shut up? His wife's gonna be mad. <laughs> Listen, you got Milo. He started off vlogging. Well, actually, no, he started off with a song, making uh, the Ten Toes Down Challenge. He started off doing that, and then got into vlogging, and now he does both, and everybody seems to love it. Um, you got DDG. And he's a demon with the braids, bro. He's nice for rapping. He's awesome. You got you got a lot of people who started off doing vlogs and or started off doing music, and then people started to collab on both. And it just made their fan base go up more. So now, like, when you drop a song that a lot of people wouldn't like, mm -hmm. a lot of people like it because you got the vlog and you yeah, got your you got fan both. base behind yeah. you. And I, then I like vlogs only because you could do, like, what um, you do, which is vlog during the making of the music videos, which is really nice because you can see behind the scenes and all that. I like that. What should do? What? We should do a mukbang. A what? A mukbang. Definition of mukbang right there. There you go. I want to see people comment what they, well, if you watch vlogs, they know what the hell, they know what it is. It's when you make, like, this big, big, huge dish of food, oh. and you just eat it. That would, uh, I, I would do that. <laughs> I mean, it's all whoop. <laughs> you know, I think there's a lady out there who did one, and, mac and, and now she's, like, big with hot when she started off for vlogging it. I don't know if I can like, do that. The whole YouTube not? is based on like, like, food, and it's like, no, oh, I do, wow, but it's crazy. Yo, hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos and mac and How... Do you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to read that. <laughs> Technically, makes how no sense. Do you register slash patent your songs? All right. Well, re registering and patenting your songs—it's not exactly like registering and patenting. It's more like if you put it out there on all platforms, it automatically gets put in like as your sound takes you. It takes your beat and it takes your voice. And so if you hear it, like, you know how you use Snapchat, you use, um, what's it called, uh, uh, Shazam. You can, it tells you that you, the, who the song is by and all that stuff just by listening to it. But you press the button and you listen and it tells you what it's by. That, it too much registers, I'm actually not sure how that works. That's a good question. Yo, but it listen. listens to your voice and your beat and tells you know, what the song is or whatever. They got it on Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat and Shazam, I said, yeah. Yo, listen, if you don't know how it works, play... A song by Cardi B and go on Snapchat and hold your screen. They'll show you. Cardi B. Wow. Okay, you know what? Fine, Miley Cyrus, you, you bird. Or Nicki Minaj. When they get the hand going, you know us. <laughs> what is up with Cardi B? 
I think it's so it, hard trying to explain these questions because like yeah you got so many more questions to prepare for and then you got to think a lot in and it's like why the hell we should pick up some questions uh, let's go to the next question next question no but i want you to pick that i want you to pick this one because it's funny and watch it be the longest one we've read so far. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is, a, this, is a, this is a great question. We all want to know this. Uh, oh. What is your security like? What's Can my you, security like? I you, have some pretty great security, actually, because I have... One. I'm going to tell you... No, no, no. I have a lot more than one. I have a lot of great security. He's definitely one of them. He's, yeah, like, I, I mean, we're we pretty tough and all here, but I'm saying, like, he's, he's, he's pretty good security, too, to have around. But, I mean, I have a lot of security, actually, because, like, you might not see me carry, having, like, dudes in suits and stuff, but, I mean, like, I am not be, like, carrying big guns around, but I'm saying I got some pretty good security. I mean, like, nobody really can do much to me. I'm just saying, like... You don't know what I got? My right hand and my left hand. That's what I'm saying. Do some damage. And they're uh, they're two cousins, uh, Footy and uh, Lefty. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> footy and Lefty. What's some Sorry, strong I, that was on the fly. We, we got we got a strong girl right here. I mean, we we got we got we got everything all set up. I'm she saying, like a guy. We, these two, these two aren't even the only ones. We got we got it going here. People keep stealing money from me. Oh shoot. <laughs> For real, like you pop it up, people keep stealing my money. All right, this is a. Uh, even though he said this already, kind of answered it in the beginning. Let's but, skip it. Why are we? But going? but we're gonna do this just so you guys could get it again. How old are you? How old am I? I'm 17. Probably my second youngest friend. No. But, yeah. Yeah. There's probably uh, people out there wondering like, when did you start? Huh? So what age did you start? 13. Started rapping at 13. I started. I started yeah, singing, rapping, 13, producing. I actually started like 14. I started singing when I was eight. That's crazy. Yeah. What is the time difference? <laughs> the time difference is like Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. But I mean that kinda shows off though, like you know, yeah, yeah. kinda like pay it shows like how the different ages Yeah. Put us in different like I'm not gonna that's crazy though because I felt like if I would have started like rapping and singing at thirteen and really waited mm -hmm. instead of like and ignored where I like that I could sing, I don't think I would have been where I am right now. Yeah. So I feel like in a sense, you're actually more developed than me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. If you were eight, you would have been better than me right now. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. I mean, I could have been, yeah. Depending on what I did, if I was using my time wisely and all that. That's true. But who the yeah. hell focuses on that on eight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too late. She's going to read it. I don't think we're going to... We're not going to read this one. We're just going to... Wait, we're not reading that one. We're going to read that one. No because sense it, said, it goes like this. And there's words right here, like, what you Let said me see, is... what is it? That was it? Is that it? Yeah. Don't put your mouth on it, what? How many people work for EC City Productions? Oh, oh how many people work for EC City Productions? <laughs> um, that's that's rough because it, it changes uh, literally by the month, actually, to be honest. Um, there's usually around 15 to 40. 15 to 40-ish. That changes. With like anywhere from 50 to 100 now. Like really get up there crazy. Yeah, well, then it's too much. It's kind of too scattered. That's why it's like I don't like doing that because they're not all in the same it. spots. That is your brand. That's your name, bro. Like that's the name behind you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like look at High Bridge. I don't mean to shout anybody else out, but look at High Bridge label. Even though that's like a famous, yeah. you know what I'm saying, uh, production company, you know. You still got to think about it. How many people do you think they started with? I have no idea. A Boogie, okay? A Boogie, how many people do you think he started with? Again, I have no idea. You, you listen to A Boogie? I do, but I, I don't follow him. Okay. That's high bridge label. That's what he started with. Yeah. You got to think about it. He started rapping and then blew up out of nowhere. You add more people to the thing you're around, mm -hmm. you start to blow up more and more. And then you well, that, 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 but that, that's, 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 there's sometimes that it doesn't work that way. Okay, though. we are off topic. Read your question. No, it's not off topic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you could meet a fan, uh, who would you choose the, that fan to be? How the hell are you supposed <laughs> to know that? <laughs> what? You could do it in the comments, you know. You yeah, give away go, go in the comments. If you, if I see, if I actually can notice you're a fan of me, like you, just this person in general, you've been coming at me so much, you've been DMing me, you've been commenting on my videos, you've been finding me in person or whatever, that's the fan I want to be. I want you to be very... I want you to make yourself known. Wait, hold on. You can't shut the rest of your fans out. You gotta be active. All y'all have to be active. All y'all have to be active, but if you want to be... If you want me to hang out with you for a day, 
Make yourself known. What you do for work, fun, and for a hobby. All right, so I consider it more, um, I do it uh, for work, but I consider it more of a hobby and for fun, because it is pretty fun. Is it true that you that you have got sued? Yes, I have um, got sued once, almost got sued a second time, but both of them fell through because they were whack. Literally, because it was like uh, false advertisement, unfair competition, which is like whack, literally. Because it was fake. It wasn't real. What was it that you were angry about in the... In zinc oxide? Yeah. I was angry about people coming at me for stupid stuff that makes no sense. So I told them about it. A little bit. <laughs> the airplanes. Airplanes. Aeroplanes. What do you think you'll accomplish in the next 10 years? In the next 10 years, I think I'm going... Everything is just going to be upgraded a lot. That's what I think. Everything I do is going to be upgraded a lot. And then also I'm going to be kind of midway through college. <laughs> what kind of music inspires you? Um, I, like sad, I like sad songs, motivational songs, love songs. Those are the things that inspire me. And ones that tell stories. Uh, we're not answering this. What is it? Is your name DJ Jertaker? Oh, uh, no, we are not saying that. Uh, DJ oh Jertaker my is my old name. It is not my name anymore. Uh, I just go by Jertaker now. So. Why do you take that so offensively? Because that? <laughs> that was just a period of time that was trash. <laughs> that should be motivation when you hear that. No. Yes. No. I'm going to get somebody to tattoo it on you. Like, I'm going <laughs> to strap you down to a chair, and then I'm going to add DJ right there. No. I'm going to personally. No. What kind of business do you do? Okay, I do tons of stuff. I do actually do some, some bits of photography. I do a little bit of, of videography. I do clothing lines, um, advertisement, buying and reselling of goods, music, vlogging. Um, I do just about business and everything. I try to do just about everything. It's like crazy what I do. Wait, Jeremy, take a break real quick. Look at this. Read this. <laughs> okay, what do you look up to in the music industry? What do I look Ooh. up into? Ooh, or who do I look up to in the music industry? I mean, that's Sadly, a good question. Not too Andrew. much, but I mean, there's the, the ones that, I, the, the artists that actually can tell good stories, can bring meaning, and can do stuff behind their fame rather than just stupid stuff all the time. Oh, if you're always doing NBA stupid stuff, I don't boy. like that. I don't like that stupid stuff. You gotta do something with yourself. Uh, next question How do you uh, say your name? I say it Jared Taker. You probably wanna know my last name too Hawks. It's, it has a G, but it's pronounced with an H. Hawks. Wait, so it's... G-A-U-X-X, -X, pronounced with a silent G and the sound of an H. Yo, Hawks. Jer Taker. Double X. Double X. <laughs> Fuck trip. It's double. All right. What happened to your clothing line that you had? All right, so I had a, three it. clothing lines. Two of them failed because uh, a rival company or whatever literally took their whole fan base and told them to attack me and literally they shut me down. That's a great... That's so great. that's what ended up happening was, but finally the third time was a charm and it worked. So remember what we were talking about earlier? Let's, Said burnt sweater? Yeah, let's not bring that up. <laughs> uh, too late. Are you and him friends? Or okay, rivals, so... Alright, so supposedly the big artist tie on and everything, we were friends and we became not really, I wouldn't say rivals, but we just don't agree on anything, Lily, and um, I feel so he... So sure rivals. Uh, but literally, he literally, he, we used to, but we don't anymore, and he just took it too far, and like, he can't even be chill. That's all I can say. I'm not going to say too much, because he's <laughs> going to probably want to attack me with his fan base. <laughs> How do you choose a theme to your song? How do I choose the themes to my song? Literally based off, like, kind of like, events that happened, different uh, people I knew, groups I was in, knew, um, <laughs> relationships, stuff like that. We know how this is for sure. <laughs> this goes along with like who you look up to in the uh, music industry. Who are your uh, favorite musicians or artists? Not musicians. Favorite musicians. Um, I really don't have a lot of favorites, but I did like Exa a lot. Um, I like Joyner Lucas. Um, there's, there's. I don't know who that is. Wow. <laughs> but, like, for real, like, I, there's not a lot, but there's there's a few that I definitely look up to. Like, just, just how their lyrics are, their flow, just the, them as a person. You should say me. <laughs> this dude. Yes. <laughs> Greatly. With Paul. I'm group. I love that show. Shut when up. will you. Oh, movie. Shut up. Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Yeah. 
when will you release a full album? I am hopefully doing that soon. I'm hopefully actually releasing an EP soon after I release a few singles, and then after that, an album is coming Wait, soon. This is a Q&A. Can I make my own question up? Yeah. When are we going to make our song? Very soon. You're going to be in one of those singles that I'm talking about. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Big release out here. All right, this is probably a question you get asked a lot. Uh... Who created ECC City Productions? EC City Productions. Excuse me. EC City Productions, ECP. Actually, it was created and founded by me, and it actually is run pretty much by me. But um, I have a lot of people in it. I did have managers and other things like that, but now it's pretty much all based off me because no. I didn't like how other people tried doing things. No, so. Did I not tell you that they all knew that? They might know that, but there's some I people that don't. That. You what knew that, but you know me very well. What is going to be in 20... 20- 22, young that is such a random year, but uh, 2022, I'm hoping like a little bit more. Like, just like, you know, like may, maybe a cap of like 10. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, I'm hoping. Like, just like $10,000 more. <laughs> yeah, like. At the most, like 50, like, we're not going to yeah. go like overboard. In yeah, but two, like. Two years, excuse my language, bleep that two out. And <laughs> two, two and a half. Two and a half years, okay. All right, we got a simple question here. It says, uh, are you a rapper? And uh, if not, what are you? I am yourself? not. I do not consider myself a rapper. I consider myself a musician because I do know how to sing. I do know how to produce, and I also can make beats. So yeah, if you technically cool. bring it to that, a rapper is somebody who could take a beat and rap on it. That is not what I do. I do lots of different things. So I consider myself a musician, an artist now. I don't produce so much anymore, and I don't really do too much beat engineering. But I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, go up and go back. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna love this. I see it. Just watch. Oh. Wait. <laughs> he pointed out cool, like, yeah, I'm great. I'm fine. <laughs> Yo, he about to. He about to die, like, for real, for real. He's about to die, like. <laughs> that boy is in pain. <laughs> yeah. What's up? What are you? What are your intentions? Okay, I got a question for that one. Uh, whose brother got angry about this? If this, if this is your question, by the way, uh, say elaborate. comment down below. Like, elaborate that because that uh, intentions are more like what parents ask their daughter's boyfriend. Which I mean, I'm not gonna say much. I'm not gonna, yeah, not gonna really answer what intentions are. <laughs> so, um, for whoever's older brother or dad, this is make sure you tell them to your elaborate. uncle or grandpa or whatever, whatever. it is. <laughs> Toss it over there. All right, last question but not least. Uh, what's your secret? How do you get so big in the music industry? Lots of advertising. You have to spend money to make money. And also knowing mad people very much helps you. All right. That's anything, what I have to say. Anything else to wrap up this video, man? Actually, how about do you, any of you three have any questions for me? Um. Yeah, kind of. All right. Not really. They've been having yeah. questions this whole time. You know, he's, he's trying to check him up. Out of all your friends, who's your best friend? Okay, I can definitely not answer that one because I don't really have a best friend. I have multiple friends that are best friends. I have many best friends. All right, so when are you going to buy one of your pendants off you? Not anytime soon. Why not? Because I have to have a really better pendant than these. So that's what I'm saying. This like, one's dope as it is, bro. I don't want And this one's a custom. This one's a custom it. piece. So, I mean. This kind of looks like you when you get mad. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. Like, you kind of look like you get, like dog is delusional with a lot of problems. Okay. <laughs> the dog probably, someone gave the dog I got an idea. the butter and the... Damn. We got an idea. Yeah. A great idea, guys. What we should do... <laughs> um, <laughs> mother... Hello. You guys should be great. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. No, what? You know what? We're just going to finish this. So... Wait, can you just open the door and say, can you do that downstairs? <laughs> the hell no, I'm not going to argue with her. Do you want me to go downstairs in my house? No! Not what I'm about to listen to for the next 30 minutes. <sighs> Having a baby and just keep coming as a pet. Yeah, but this is not, this oh, is no not okay. I'll say it. I'll say it because I can't, no, I can't have Please this. Do not say <laughs> just say it, just say it. <laughs> just tell her she's a weenie. She's not going to do anything. She, she won't get fooled. She's not going to do nothing. She's going to allow you to say she's a weenie because she's not going to get fooled. All right. Just say it. Just go before the video ends. You have to call her a weenie. Just call me a weenie. You're a weenie? Jeremy. What? Jeremy. Say what? Phoenix, you're a weenie. Phoenix, you're a weenie. Thank you. <laughs> Phoenix, baby, I love you. Well, listen to me. All right. You are built like a really tall weenie. I had to tell you this. All right.
You're my fiance now, so. Guys, drop in the try. comments what our wedding theme should be. I want to know what you're like. Don't go over the top. Like go like off the walls. I want to know this. We gotta see what your fans really like. We'll see. You got anything to say to wrap this up, man? I had a lot to say actually. Well, not too much. Wait, hold on. I got one more question. One more. I promise. All right. Did you finish Red Dead Redemption? I actually did. Red Dead Redemption two. I did finish. It's been been pretty nice. I've been thinking about that. That's pretty nice. I just finished it. But um, right here. You got to like ninety eight percent, and I was like, "Yeah, you're done." And he was sitting there reading the the, the thing. I was like, "Nope." The I am almost movie thing. And I'm like, "Bro, you finished it." And he still had like two percent left. In the but yeah, so I like with GTA. I, I got a vlog coming soon. Obviously, this. We I got some reaction videos coming soon. We got some two songs coming soon. We got a lot of stuff coming soon. It's going pretty nice. Yo, I got another idea. I bet, but keep it quiet. What should react to? What? What we should react to? No, not, I have reactions of me no, coming. Me and you. <laughs> yeah, should but we should. We should, though. That's a good idea. Videos. That'd be I nice. Love Let's do that. Get knocked out. I don't know why. Same. Yo, can I put two of my fight videos in there? No. Uh, we can't react to me. Well, wait, oh, yeah, you can react right. to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. All right, so yeah. That was pretty much an out- outro. It was a pretty good outro. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know you guys oh, subscribe shit. to me on YouTube. <laughs> EC City Productions. Uh, or you can just look up Jared Taker and you'll find EC City Productions. Uh, official Jared Taker on Instagram. Uh, it's just Jared Taker, I think, on SoundCloud. Um, Jared Taker on SoundCloud, yes. Um, yeah, I'm about to be on all platforms soon again. I you was before, but I am not now. Who with you. Who are you? Mean your up and coming artist in your song that you're making right now. Oh, we're yeah. shouting you out on a later date. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so yeah, we so we got Dylan Tool on the, coming on a track uh, soon. We got Grand Z on, on the track. We got um, we got someone. Uh, I think his his name is gonna be Teenage C on the track. He, he was in some of my old stuff and everything. If you you followed me for a while, but he's he's improved. I've improved. We we got we got some and good things going and everything. Uh, Speedy, he's with you. Yeah, but he's not gonna be in a track or well, anything. He's, he's producing. He, exactly. He's, producing. So he's a big part of it. Well, yeah, he, he, yes, he's, he's producing. And then the other dude, um, the guy who helps helps a lot of the time with lyrics. Oh yeah, Spider Spider the God. He's, he's dope. Yeah, he's pretty and dope. Then you got me. I hope. And too, we got man. this dude, who's also gonna be in a track soon. Yes, sir. And then we got cameraman. What's your name? Cameraman. Beach. We got Beach. Beach. underscore on Instagram. Mustache. Mustache filmed underscore. That's where it's. This little preview video is gonna go. He's cool with that, you know what I mean? Of course. You know what I mean? And then we and then, just don't link the tag. And then man. Phoenix right here. She doesn't uh, know how to say things. What the f are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Miller for all my like social like media. Weenie, just like right there. I just realized all my right. social media is the exact same thing, Michael Milton, for everything besides Snapchat. Y'all are not having that because it's OD right now. So when I delete some people, then y'all can have it. No, I lied. Instagram, no, that's where I put all my music at. Instagram is Michael underscore Mill and one two three. Yo, go follow me, bro, and listen to my songs. All right, Yo, guys, this wait. has been the Q and A. Well, you got something else to say? Yeah. All I'm right. Reminding myself of something. Yo, listen, for all you guys looking for a job, never go to an interview high. And if you do, just look at your look at your boss and be like, listen, I'm not at the mental capacity for this interview right now. I did it, and she loved me for it, and I still got the job. So, you guys, remember that. Smoke weed every day.